Did you know that matter can be classified by its ability to conduct electric or thermal energy? In the previous lessons, we learned the three states of matter and that matter can be classified according to its density and magnetic properties. In this lesson, we will be learning how to classify matter according to its ability to conduct electric or thermal energy. When electricity or heat flow through an object, they cause the atoms inside to move rapidly. This movement allows for energy to be passed from one atom to another atom, which can result in an electric current or heat. Most metals are considered good conductors of electricity and heat because they allow electric and thermal energy to flow through them easily. This is because matter inside of metals is arranged so that energy can flow freely. A good example of this is electric wire. Electric wires conduct electric currents that can be used to power or charge your phone, TV, and other electronic devices. The most common metal used in electrical wires is copper because it is an excellent conductor. Aluminum, iron, copper, and steel are all good conductors of thermal energy. An example of an electrical conductor that is not a metal is salt water. Although pure salt and pure water are not good conductors on their own, when they're mixed together into a solution, they allow for electric energy to flow freely. Most pots and pans used for cooking are made of stainless steel and aluminum because they're good conductors. Insulators are the opposite of conductors because they resist the flow of electric or thermal energy. Some electrical insulators include wood, plastic, cardboard, rubber, and glass. They all resist the flow of electric energy. Electric wires are covered in a rubber or plastic coating to prevent the copper from coming into contact with another conductor and allowing the energy to escape. This is a perfect example of an insulator because the insulated coating resists the flow of electricity and keeps it in place. When you grab a wire that is properly coated, the electricity does not flow to you and shock you, and that's a good thing. Insulators also resist the flow of heat because matter inside is arranged so that heat does not flow easily. When you go to order your favorite hot beverage, it will be handed to you in a styrofoam cup, ceramic mug, or a cardboard sleeve because they are all great insulators. They trap the heat from the coffee to prevent you from getting burned. That's also why most pots and pans have plastic or wooden handles. The matter inside of the plastic or wood restricts the flow of energy so it does not heat up. This is because when electric or heat energy flow through a conductor, the atoms move quickly and it becomes hot. When energy stops flowing through the conductor, the atoms slow down and it starts to cool down. Let's review what we learned. Insulators do not allow for energy to flow freely and it keeps the object cool to the touch. Matter can be classified by its ability to conduct heat or electricity. The motion of atoms create and transfer heat and electrical energy. Conductors are usually coated or wrapped with insulators to contain the energy and protect us. Seawater, silver, copper, aluminum and iron are all good conductors of electricity. Insulators are the opposite of conductors because they resist the flow of electricity or heat. Examples of insulators are plastic, wood and glass.